Core Temp Sense has been pretty critical to all manner of the preparations, really. It's enabled me to both measure what happens in practice runs, so I know what core temperatures I am hitting and need to be able to target in training, but also enabled me to do heat training sessions to keep myself in the right zone, really. Uh, so I'm not fit to be cooking myself in training sessions, but I am training hard enough to get the thermal stimulus that I need. We've been using the core sensor and its technology throughout this project because it's super important to uh, Dan's effort for the hour. As core temperature rises, if it goes up by one degree, you can reduce gross efficiency by 1%. 1% of gross efficiency can equal 15 to 18 watts in power that you can produce during your attempt. And as a critical success factor, that would mean you would fail. Essentially, we've used the core sensor and its technology to understand the thermal physiology of Dan and how that correlates with the attempt. The most surprising discovery, I think, would be just how warm you can get in a warm-up and not perceive it ahead of competition and that you can mitigate quite a few, uh, quite a bit of that warming with the right kind of strategies and interventions. So I guess it's opened up a world of objectivity into something that we haven't particularly looked at in great detail before.